right, welcome back everybody. Now it's time to talk about adding, styling, and customizing our tables to meet our needs. Now adding a table is easy. I've already added a couple tables here, but I'll add one more to show you how easy it can be. Coming up here to this tables icon, I can simply click on the icon and then choose the type of table I want. You can see we have checklists, sums underneath the checklist, just a normal table, or some with some particular headers and footers. So I can choose one here with double headers. You see all I have to do is click on it and now it's created one here with a header column and a header row. And then our data can go right here in the middle. That's how easy it is to add a table. Now it comes in as this default size, however I can change the size by coming up down here to this handlebar, dragging out to create more columns, and dragging down to create more rows. Once I get to the size I want, I can let go, and now that's the table that I have. Now moving the table is as easy as coming up here to this square up here in the top left, and then now dragging it wherever we want. You can see that automatically uh, snaps to fit well on the page. And remember that this toolbar, this um, column and row bars right here, these are going to disappear when we have it unhighlighted. So as we start looking at a document or as we print it, that's all going to go away. That's only there as we work with this particular table. Why? Because when we work with this table, we get the same thing up here. Okay, so that's how easy it is to create a table. Now remember, if you don't have this icon up here, we can still insert tables by coming up to Insert, Table, and then choosing the drop-down list like we had right here. Choose the one we want, and then it's all exactly the same. Now for the rest of this tutorial, we're going to talk about formatting these, and um, formatting the cells, and formatting the tables, color, and styles. For this, you're going to need to make sure that you have the styles palette open over here on the side, and also the inspector palette over here. Okay, now the inspector palette can be toggled by clicking this inspector icon here, or coming to view and clicking hide or show inspector, or the keyboard shortcut which is Apple Shift I. Alright, now the style palette should be available. There really isn't a way to remove it. We can only resize it. So you should see the style palette over here on the side. And this you'll see no matter what. So now that we've inserted our table, as we see here, let's click on it to highlight it. Once we click on it, options become available up here in the inspector, as well along here in the format bar if you have the format bar selected. Now anything here in the inspector palette will also be shown here in the format bar. So this format bar is really only for convenience. It's not really an extensive list of everything, such as the inspector palette, where all the features are available. Now within this inspector palette, this is where we can really customize our table. First of all, we'll start off by adding a name. Alright, so all I'm going to do is here is double click and type in the name. I'm going to check this to, make, to give it a name. And now we have the name right here. Whereas before, I'm going to click this again. Remember we have to click this to get the access the information here. When I uncheck this, there's no name shown here on the table, but it will show up here for um, organizational purposes on our sheet. So this table is in this checking sheet. Okay, so that's important to know also. So if we want to show this name on the table, such as we see here, we need to make sure we check this box right here to show that name. Now as those go away, we now have our demo table labeled right here on our, on our table, in our sheet. So clicking on this again, come down and we'll point out some other information we have. First of all, we can see headers and footers. Now headers and footers are these green ones you see right here. This is a header row and this is a header column. Now these are important for adding categories and subject titles. Now if we want on the bottom, this is a footer. This is great for summary and balance um, formulas. We add this here on the bottom and now we can add up maybe the total of this column and the total of this column. You can see it's normally formatted a little bit different than the header rows and columns. So the footer tends to be a little bit different. Remember that we can add multiple footers. So these will be three footers underneath the data. And then these are the one header column and one header row. And of course we can do that here. We see this icon shows header columns. We can have multiple header columns and multiple header rows as well. But they are always going to be on the top. We can't put them in the middle. These header rows, header columns are always on the top and on the left. 
Now we don't need any footers, and I'm going to set both these header rows and header columns to 1. And there we go, we're back to our default table. Now these are pretty much the options that we have available here. So these are diff this is a header row and a header column. This is just a header row. This is a header row and a footer. This has ne no headers or footers at all. And these add checklists, but it's still, there's a header row, and this has a header row and a footer. Okay, so we can still adjust these, even if we choose the wrong table in there, we can always add those here. Now, I've already talked to you about merging and splitting rows and columns. We can also do that here in the inspector. I normally right-click, come over here, highlight the two I want to merge, and right-click them to merge them. But remember, we can also do that by um, coming up here and clicking Merge. Now those are merged together. Now, in addition, we can split these. You can see we can either split these into columns or split them into rows by just clicking these right here. We can do it multiple times, and there you go. So you can make very advanced tables really simply. Now, adjusting the columns and rows is easy as well. We can do it numerically with a lot of detail here by typing in the exact amount that we want for each row height and column width. Or we can do it more eyeballing it. All we have to do is we say we want to make this header a little bit thicker than the rest of these cells here. What we're going to do is make this row thicker, come here to the bottom of row 1, and just drag it down. It's now bigger. And I can do the same thing here with columns. And now it's significantly bigger than these here, but they all, these all stay the same. So we can do that there, or we can always... Um, type in a numeric number here. All right, now this tutorial continues on in the next couple of videos. Um, we're going to start off in the next video by talking about cell formatting and also how to customize the borders, as we see here, these individual lines between each of the cells. And the video after that is going to talk about styles, how we can use the styles built into numbers, and ha also how we can create and customize our own styles to maybe meet the colors that our company uses. So there's a lot more to this tutorial coming up in the next couple of videos, so be sure to go to those videos and watch them now.